Hi, welcome to the second video of the Plotly Dash tutorial. And in the previous video, we made our first app, our Hello World app, with two graph expected graphics. And now we're going to um, use the classes, use Bootstrap classes to manipulate how um, we're going to style our app how many um, space we want to reserve for each graphic and build like a side-by-side -side graph uh, dashboard here and to explore more about other concepts. So before starting and going to the code, let me just show you how a bootstrap works. So bootstrap is um, a CSS framework that divides our app and also in general web applications into rows and 12 columns rows. So uh, back to the, the first example that we explored, I divided my app into like nine columns and three columns here for the image and then six columns for the select the, the buttons of the selection and then two for each drop downs, then a map with six columns and a table with six columns. So basically it have to sum at the end 12 columns. And the reason why it's 12 is because it's easily divide. Uh, you can divide easily by two, three, four, and six. So it's very good. Uh, it gave you give you a lot of opportunity to um, divide this, and it's it's I think the the standard for for web development here. So back to the code. Let's see how we implement this classes and control um, how we want. Uh, the, the, the the dashboard behave. So um, before doing this, I'm I, I would like to introduce you um, to some techniques here. Uh, you've already noticed that I use like divisions, and this will be clear now because um, this will help us to um, to use the classes. Oh, sorry. Let me get back to our our previous one. Yeah. So this is what we did before. And then, um, as you notice here in our example, we're going to um, say, you're going to define what is, will be inside a row, and then we start dividing into um, numbers. So here, our strategy for this app will be, um, this header would, will be one row with hello world and dash, and then in another row, I'm going to put the two graphics and it's going to be side and side by side. So two graphics here. So in for this, uh, to introduce you uh, with the concept of row, uh, I'm just going to add one HTML div to embrace this row. So the syntax is pretty simple. You open more, one more HTML, and then um, you take what you want inside the row, and then basically you close it. So here is one row for us, and then I'm going to do the same for the next <clears throat> next planned row. So two graphics will be inside another row, uh, inside this global HTML div. So here it is, and then I'll put this two graphics here. Where let me just check where it ends. Um, okay, it ends here in this. So it's important to check. It ends always. So and close this. So if we run this again, uh, nothing will change because we just add one more division, which uh, for the app to make changes, but now I'm going to show you how we're going to explore more this of this, and then um, you'll see the results in the in a moment. So for this, I've been talking about uh, the Bootstrap CSS. So we have to import this before um, we come we use this. And just to take a look in how it looks like, we can copy this link and then paste here. Then we can see that it's like basically a library of a lot of uh, classes, um, which will tell um, what's the uh, size of the each column. 
so basically 600 divided by 50% each basically and so no more talk let's just apply these things and see what happens so um, first of all back to the image we have to tell row what's the row right so in this div we're going just to add class name and then equals to row like this then we're going to do this for the next one mm, so it ends here and then this one that ends here all right so we have two rows so now for this graphic uh, we also would like to add one more nested div because um, this this first graphic will be um, included inside um, six columns. So let's just add one more. It might not make sense right now, but uh, it will in a second. You see. So here I add one more nested div <coughs> and um. Sorry. And then I'll put class name equals to six rows, which is pretty um, convenient for us. So to hear here, to see here, where is this class name called? Um, so basically, it's like six columns here, and then uh, oh. Sorry, I made actually I made a mistake. It's not six rows, but six columns. Let me just check how I end this example. So six columns, uh, and then we're going to do the same uh, for next graphic. So if you add dot if nothing here, and then. Close after this. Class name equals to six columns. Then close the parentheses and okay. We're all set. So if we save this and Hopefully I didn't forget about any parentheses. So yeah, it's running perfectly. Uh, what we have here is that now we have a row here with six columns for this graphic and six columns for this other graphic. Um, this is like the basics of styling. We can also, for example, um, set four columns for this one and eight columns for this another one. So, it just have to sum up to 12. So, 10, 2 is fine, 7, 5, or yeah, and this is how you uh, decide the size of the graphic. In the, and by using this CSS, you will make your app responsive because you see it, it uh, adjusts with the size of your screen. So, because everything is uh, set up as percentage and not pixels so it will make your app very responsive and this is a good practice uh, for web development so the next thing I'm going to add is is this header part I'm going to add a Fulcrum Analytics logo here just to show you another way to declare, declare the classes without creating a nested div so um, I've prepared for this purpose um, a part of a code to add the Fulcrum logo here and then in this header H1, H HTML H1 we're going to add the class name of nine columns 
Now we could say that this part will take nine columns and then the remaining part will take three columns for the image. And then here we also add nine, we say that this paragraph will take the nine columns here. So nine columns for this one and the image I already set up as a three column. And here for the, for this part, we're going to add um, class name equals to nine columns. So let me just fix this a little bit, okay, to look better. So let's see what happens. All right, now you can see the logo here. It's a little bit small, and then we have to bring this more closer to the center. So for to add another layer of style for specifically this uh, component, we can add a, a dictionary, a, declare a dictionary, the dictionary format a style. So in this case, I think we'll be fine with maybe 14% um, of width and height. And also we can add margin. So if you declare like margin in 20 pixels, you do add margin in all the sides. Uh, if you want to specify, for example, just the top, margin top of 20, and then margin um, right is 20, you do just add for these sides of the image. So when we reload this, we can see that the logo has, is bigger and we, have, we added some margin here. Um, just to make a quick test, um, if you put like margin right 200, we'll see that this one is going to be, yeah, so because it added a lot of margin in this side and it broke our code here. So 20, 20 is fine. We're going to stick with this. And also I'll be, I'll bring the columns back to six and six. All right. So just for capping, we uh, learned how to add an HTML div to set up a row um, and then also and not add another HTML div to specify a class name of a and the number of columns that we want to uh, include. We want to say to the app uh, that the graphic will take the space. So let me just um, ident a little bit better this and we can move on. So yeah, oh, I remember now that by looking this, um, there's a cool, very cool tip in the, when using the classes. And my favorite feature is this offset by columns. So if you don't want to have a map that goes from the, all the border, like the whole page, and you can add this um, offset by one columns or two in your global div, like I did in the in the example. So if you do this here, if you, at the end of the the global div, ten columns offset by one, this will actually. Um, convert everything that you set up in 12 columns and add a margin of one column for each side, which makes the, our app a bit better looking. So now you know how to style your, um, your app and you walk through the concept of doing nested divs to add rows and class names and also do some additional styling using uh, the style dictionary inside a component uh, or a layout component inside uh, DCC. So congratulations, now you know the uh, necessary things to style your next app and now in the next video we're going to make our app interactive and now we're going to make, create a real 
live dashboard. So with drop downs that updates the graphics, and I'm excited to uh, start writing this with you. So see you next video.